welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to be talking about this daily mail article financial misery for americans will carry on federal reserve chair jerome powell says interest rates will keep rising sharply for some time because of inflation and fighting high cost will cause some pain now <clears throat> i mean it's pretty obvious that the Fed is going to have to raise interest rates. But here's what I keep saying about this and inflation. I think at some point the Fed is just going to give up on fighting inflation for whatever reason, due to political pressure, whatever it is, because what do you think is going to happen in 2023? Like, if you go back and you look at the tech boom, it was really about two years of deflation before, you know, stocks fell down. And I'm just saying that I think what's going to happen is you have 2023, which is an election year coming up. If the Fed keeps raising interest rates, and let's just say the stock market falls to fair value, that's half where we are today, the average person doesn't understand that the stock market didn't crash. It just reverted to the mean. Our responsibility to deliver price stability is unconditional, Powell said, adding that restoring price stability would take some time. Inflation has been running hot and remained near a 40-year high at 8.5% in July, despite a rapid series of jumbo interest rate interest hikes. The July rate was a slight dip from the June's high consumer price index of 9.1. And here's the thing about this inflation. This inflation isn't solely... I know, you know, and all inflation is, is an expansion of the money supply. But what I'm saying is the inflation that we're all experiencing right now is not only because they pumped stimmy checks into the economy. Some of the inflation, I shouldn't say foot inflation for this stuff. Some of it is caused by China still being locked down there's many different reasons why this is happening. Also, with the student loan forgiveness, there's going to be a lot more money going into the economy, which I think is going to cause more inflation. Jerome Powell said that interest rates would keep rising sharply for quite some time as the Fed worked to rein in stubbornly high inflation. Our responsibility to deliver price stability is unconditional, Powell said adding that restoring price stability would take some time. Inflation has been running hot and remained near a 40... All right, we already read that. The July rate was a slight... Di all right. But a single month's improvement falls far short of what the committee will need to see before we're confident that inflation is moving down, Powell said, referring to the central bank's policy setting Federal Open Market Committee. Powell warned that Americans would feel the effect of reining in prices. Yeah, because what's going to happen is, as think about it like this. All you have to do, Maitland Ward. Ah, you might need to talk about that. That chick's hot. But what's going to happen is, you know, with the Fed raising interest rates, people don't have as much money. It just filters throughout the economy. And then people are going to start losing jobs. The Fed knows this and people losing jobs, unfortunately, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to sit here and downplay somebody losing their job. That is terrible. You know, you know, that is a terrible stress on somebody, especially if they, you know, they have a family at home. It's a, it's a tremendous stressor on people, but Here's the simple reality of it. People are going to lose their job in jobs and unemployment is going to have to is going to have to rise. It's just one of the things that accompanies 
tamping down inflation. But the thing is, I go back to, you know, look at what happened with the stock market today. The S&P fell 1.11% and the NASDAQ composite slid 1.34. Um, yeah, I mean, so I think a lot of what happened here is there were a lot of people that wrongly assumed the bear market was going to come to an end. Because if you go on YouTube throughout this whole time, man, when we have this bounce, if, whether it's a dead cat bounce, I don't know, man. I'm just saying we had this bounce. I think people, I think a lot of people, I think there's still a lot of dumb money in the market. And I mean, when you look at Bed Bath & Beyond shot up, all the meme stocks kind of shot up for a while. When you look at that, I think it was people thinking that this whole thing was ending and the Fed was going to pivot. I like, like I said, who knows what the Fed is going to do in the future. I can't predict that, nor am I going to sit here and make suggestions that I know what's going to happen. But I can look at it through different lenses. And one of the lenses is how much pressure is the Fed going to get going into an election year? Probably quite a bit. So, I mean, we'll see. The historical record cautions strongly against prematurely loosing policy. Yeah, if they loosen it right now, it's just going to go back. Powell said, hearkening back to Fed Chair Paul Volcker, who reigned in over 10% inflation of the early 80s. And also, something you have to factor in is back then, the United States government had way less debt. So they could afford to jack up the prices to 10% or greater, whatever it was. I think interest rates got up to like 15% or something in that area. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm going memory. And look, you know, you can look at, all right, well, you should know this. I don't memorize everything. The longer inflation lasts, the greater chance it will become entrenched, Powell said, explaining that if the public believes inflation is here to stay, then it will be. Yeah, because, I mean, if inflation's running at 10% and your money's losing 10% of its value, why wouldn't you go out and buy that item that you wanted to buy? I mean, regardless, because it's going to be more expensive a year from now, which then exacerbates inflation and makes it worse. I'm hoping that the federal fund rate goes to at least 3 to 3.5% and then we'll see what it does. But I mean, I again, I don't want to get any hopes up because we're in uncharted territory. We've never been in a situation where the Fed just injected money into the economy for 10 years and then we had the covid problem and then we pumped stimulus into the economy on a monthly basis the price index declined but yeah biden celebrated the decrease as a win in a statement friday yeah that's uh yeah that's a that's a great win to throw out there is that you know eh, yeah, inflation fell by 0.01%. We're out of the woods now. Last month, incomes were up and overall prices were down. That's according to an important measure of inflation, which showed prices actually came down nationwide last month. In other words, while the price of some things went up, the price of other things went down by even more. He said, honestly, that's probably just the gas prices coming down is having that effect. I really don't think that it's anything the Fed's doing right now. Yeah, yeah. Low interest rate of 3.5%. Of course, they calculate that different than they used to back in the day. So whether, you know, that's really 3.5%, I don't know. I'll just go with it. But that's got to rise. I, 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 this is the thing that people have to understand you can't have it both ways either you know inflation it, it either you're going to have strong jobs which means people are flush with cash or you're not 
Demand for war is exceedingly. As the pain gets greater, Powell said, people should not expect the Fed to dial back quickly until the inflation problem is fixed. Some investors anticipate the Fed will flinch if unemployment rises too fast, with some even penciling in interest rate cuts next year, an outlook the U.S. Central Bank officials have leaned hard against in recent weeks. Well, yeah, I mean, of course they're going to do it because he, of course they're going to, they're they're going to choose their words carefully because is the chairman of the Fed. You know, he says something, he could possibly, you know, crash the economy, I guess, in theory. I don't know. Personally, I would just jam the brakes on inflation, raise it by 1% and see what that does. But that's me. Deliver the remarks to a room full of international policymakers and economics gathered at a mountain lodge to discuss how the COVID-19 pandemic put new constraints on the world economy and the in implications of that for central banks. Inflation is now their chief concern. And Powell remarked remarks at the symposium hosted by Kansas City Fed set a tone likely to register on global markets. It was also a message major central banks are preaching in unison that rate hikes are meant to slow economies. Yep. And a commitment that won't waver until inflation falls. Now, I mean, it's impossible to say what they're going to do. So let me know down in the comment section if like what you think is going to go on. I'm get. I, I don't know, man. I, I have no clue. It, it's trying to predict the future. Who knows what these central bankers are going to do? I just have a tendency to lean towards political pressure is going to force them to make somewhat of a pivot in concession, even if that's smaller interest rate hikes. But who knows? What do you guys think? Let me know. And uh, I'm out. Like and subscribe or don't.